spin. Here we go. Shuffle, 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 and spin. Guys, this first challenge for our runners, our Fusion Whiz Kid, our On Shape Whiz Kid. This first challenge is going to be challenge number 12. All right, so the production team is going to get that model ready, and we are going to take a look at our runners and learn a little bit about our runners. So Neil Z, our Fusion user, our number three seed from the United States. We can see here he's a freshman mechanical engineering student at UW-Madison. Oh, so he's a student. <clears throat> nice. And he's also a former FTC team captain in high school and won first at 2024 FTC World Championship. And I think the FTC is just like another way of saying first, right? It's like a first robotics competition. So, wow. Uh, let's see what James has. Oh, and he loves mountain biking and designing and flying and building RC airplanes. Nice. So let's see what James has to counter that. Oh, James is also a student at university uh, doing rover design. Yo, at University of New South Wales. And James has also been on the first robotics teams. Yeah, these guys are perfectly matched up. This is going to be awesome. So also using Onshape since 2022 on the first robotics competition and loves Lego and fairly certain that's what got me into engineering and design. How do we end up getting these matches where people are so perfectly matched? That is so cool. Guys, this next CAD vs. CAD battle between Neil Z from the United States running Fusion, our number three seed, and James from Australia running on shape, our number 13 seed begins in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in XX.X pounds? Tolerance is plus or minus 0.1 pounds and the unit systems inches, IPS inch pound seconds. The material is plain carbon steel. Both of our runners have grabbed a screen capture of this part. Both of our runners are jumping into their CAD system and who can model up this part first. So we've got Neil Z on the left running Fusion. Looks like he's starting out with a square of all the shapes that could have been put into this model. That was not one that I was expecting to see. James on the right running on shape. Looks like he's creating a shape that will be revolved. I think that's a little bit more what I would have expected from this thing. Uh, gonna double it up though using a mirror command. That's a little bit of a surprise as well. This is really interesting to see how these runners kind of approach these types of challenges, what types of geometry they use, and where is Neil going with this? Everyone is wondering, where is Neil going with this shape? This is very, very fascinating. I can see where James is going on the right. I can see what he's doing. I can see the vision. He's creating this geometry. He's gonna use a revolve shape, but Neil, I don't know what he, Okay, maybe I am starting to see what he's doing. Wow, very interesting. So he generated those curves. Instead of using a radius or a tangent arc, he generated them with a full circle. Very, very interesting. Het Patel in the chat says, love this part. Thank you, my friend. Scale Motor Hobby says, I'm confused. Yeah. Big B from AZ says, he's a trimmer. He's a trimmer. We got ourselves a trimmer here. And we got Neil Z on the left running Fusion. Love seeing Fusion here in these competitions. We got James on the right using Onshape. Love seeing Onshape in these competitions. A lot of you guys know I've been using a lot of Onshape these days. Actually uh, gonna be doing even more in the near future. And wow, we see Neil Z on the left takes first blood with that revolve and instantly mirrors it. And James on the right almost immediately subsequently creates his first feature, his first solid feature. Now we see both of them creating this hex shape, trying to get in there, adding in the appropriate dimensions for this hex shape. This is really neck and neck here, guys. These young whiz kids can really move through this software. Neil Z getting that hex shape extruded out, and we see James getting that hex shape extruded out. And now Neil Z going around, looks like he's selecting the edges for that chamfer. Looks like he, I, look, I, I saw a preview of it on one side. On Shape PC gives you the preview as you're selecting. And James picking the entire face. And wow, both of our runners are neck and neck here. We're watching the chat. We're watching the chat. This answer is going to come in any moment. We are watching the chat here. They're both neck and neck. And Neil Z comes in with the answer. 19.3 pounds. And that is correct. And James comes in right behind him. 19.3 pounds. My goodness, guys, what a battle. What a matchup. Oh my goodness. That was fast and that was close.
Wow, that was cool to see. Woo, that got my heart racing. Congratulations, Neil, earning that first point, but a close battle. You've got a true competitor here in James. Be on the lookout. And GG to our winner of that battle. And man, that was intense. Wow, 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 wow. Guys, GG to the winner of that battle. GG to Neil. And once again, thank you so much to our prize sponsor. I just want to remind everybody that these guys are trying to battle their way through to make it into the final four because the final four are each going to win a 3D printer from our prize sponsor, Brusa. Thank you, Brusa. Good luck to all of our runners. And let's now turn to the Wheel of Fate to find out what the next challenge is going to be. Man.